Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to customize a Corgi Leyland land train semi truck and these two tractors. One of them is a majorette and the other one is a matchbox. So I've done a bit of searching online and it's pretty difficult to find information on this truck. But I believe it was produced around 1981 to 1982. One of my good friends actually brought this over from the UK for me. This is the Majorette tractor. These were produced from 1980 until 2010. I believe this yellow and green one was made from 1982 until 1986. And lastly, the Matchbox tractor. I believe these were produced from 1978 until 1984. Some of them came with a harrow and I think some of them came with other stuff, maybe a trailer and one of them had a bucket on the front. So we'll just take a closer look at the truck off of the turntable. It's a decent size, I think it's maybe smaller than 143rd scale, but a bit larger than 164th. It's not in terribly bad condition, the paint's a little bit chipped. It's basically just a bit play-worn. Our Majorette tractor is a little bit worse, it's missing a bit more paint there. It's a bit grubby as well, spent a bit of time outside I think. We'll definitely benefit from a clean up. And our Matchbox tractor is similar, missing a bit of paint. And generally just a bit grubby and play worn. Let's get on and take them apart. This main rivet holding the cab on here is an Audi, so I'll just start it off with the round burr on my Dremel and then I can drill it out. And I'll drill out the other rivets and take it all apart. I'll use a cutting disc on my rotary tool to cut the axles to get those wheels off. There's a little rivet holding the horns on the roof. The grill and the bull bar there just pull off. The trailer only consists of the bed there which is plastic and the chassis. So I just have to drill out a few of these plastic rivets and I can pop the top off there. And again, I cut the axles and take the wheels off. Both of the tractors were held together with only one rivet. So I just had to drill those out and they came apart. And there they go, all taken apart. Now I can move on and I'll strip the paint off of the truck castings. Just using a bit of poly stripper. 
Here they are with the paint removed. Now I can give them a clean up with a wire brush on my rotary tool and remove any oxidation and remaining paint scraps. That's better, they're looking a bit cleaner now. You'll notice there's a hole in the roof of the cab here and a couple of little bumps where the horns were positioned. Now I don't like the horns so I'm going to take them off and fill up that hole. I start by grinding off those little lumps there with a sanding barrel on my rotary tool. I can then clean that up with a file and finish it with some sandpaper. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of epoxy putty to fill up the hole in the roof there. Start with a piece of tape underneath the hole and then I can knead together my epoxy putty and I'll press it into the hole there. This putty takes about 10 minutes to harden so I leave it about 5 or 6 minutes until it's semi hardened and then I'll remove the bulk of it with a craft knife. And once it's fully cured, I finish it off with some sandpaper. So now I'm happy enough with that, I can move on and start painting them. I'll begin by painting the cab with a coat of white. Now I'm going to mask off the cab and the front pillars there and then I'm going to paint the rest of it orange. There we go with it painted orange, I'll just remove the masking tape here. Now my orange was looking a bit bright so I make it look a bit more worn out and faded by spraying it lightly with a very thin coat of white paint. Here it is after our white faded paint has been added. I've also detailed the door handles and those side indicators there. I'm now going to add just a few small rust patches. I'm using some dark brown rusty colored paint and I'm just going to paint it on here and there. And once I was happy with my little rust patches, I finished it off with some black wash. This was applied in the panel lines and other places where I wanted some shading. And So I can put that aside to dry well and I'll move on with the chassis of the truck. So I'll start by masking off most of it here. I'm just leaving those wheel wells exposed and I'll paint them white and then orange and then given the light white paint treatment so they look a bit faded. Now I can remove my masking tape from the rest of the base. Now I'm going to mask up the wheel wells that I've painted. And then I can paint the rest of the base in black. Now 
And there we go. That's nice and black now. I'll just remove the masking here. Now I can start adding some details, the lights at the front there and the Leyland sign. I also added a few rust patches and now I'm going to finish it with some metallic weathering powder. The grill and the bull bar here at the front were in pretty good nick. I just gave them a fresh coat of black paint. So now I can mop assemble the body of the cab and I'm going to apply some dust weathering powder to it. Once I was happy with my weathering, I took it apart again and I fixed all the parts with a coat of clear. There was no interior in this model, so I've had to sort of construct my own out of some spare parts. A little steering wheel there. The seats and a part I've cut out for the dash. So here they are after a paint job. And now I'm going to assemble them inside the windscreen there. That's not looking too bad. That's looking pretty good actually. A lot better than no interior. Here is the stack, it's got chrome on it which I want to remove so I'm going to use a little bit of hot water in a jar here and a small amount of caustic soda, just drop it in there as you can see after about 30 seconds all of the chrome has come off. I do a little bit of editing on it with my craft knife here. Then I test fit it on the truck here where I want it and I've added a bent pipe to replace that silly knob that was on the bottom of it and a little rain cap up the top. I painted it black and then chrome and I'm going to finish it with a black wash. To start off my trailer, I've fabricated a front cab guard there. Just use some styrene for that. Now I can start painting it. I'll begin by painting the top there white. Now I'm going to mask off the deck. And I'll paint the rest of it in black.
I paint in some rust patches again on the frame here. Might be a bit hard to see. And this was finished off as well with some metallic weathering powder. I fixed this with a coat of clear and now I can take off the masking tape from the bed of the trailer there. So I want this to be wood. I'm going to start off by painting it with a burnt umber here. I then gave it a black wash and then I finished it by dry brushing it with a lighter brown. The chassis of the trailer was painted black and then given the same rust and weathering powder treatment. Here are the wheels from the truck and there should be four wheels the same for the trailer but when I took it apart one of them flew off across my studio and for the life of me I just cannot find it so I'm replacing the trailer wheels with a couple of Hot Wheels wheels. So I'll begin by painting them all with a dark silver, this is like a chain mail silver. Now I'm using a little bit of rust oxide weathering powder and alcohol to add a bit of rust to them. I just paint a tiny bit on and then I rub most of it off with my finger there and I'll just leave a little bit of the rust. And once I'd done this to all of the wheels I then gave them all a black wash to finish them and they were fixed with a matte varnish. With the parts of my truck all done I can move on to the tractors. Here they are with the paint stripper on them and here they are with the paint removed. Now I'll give all of these cast parts a clean up with the wire brush on my rotary tool. We'll get rid of all that oxidation there. Here they are looking nice and clean and shiny and ready for painting. Start by hitting the bodies with some white. Next I'm going to mask off the roofs there. And I chose to paint the matchbox one blue again and the majorette red. Here they are with the masking removed from the roofs there. These were given a similar treatment of a light coating of white to fade them, having a little bit of rust painted in here and there and some other details and then a black wash to bring out the panel lines and the shading on them.
Here are the plastic parts from the tractors. They're pretty filthy. So the first thing I'll do is give them a wash in some hot soapy water. You can see those axles there are pretty rusty as well, but I'm gonna reuse them. So I just give these a bit of a clean up with a wire brush on my rotary tool. And here they all are after a good clean up. So I can move on with painting them. First of all, I'll just mask off the motor of the majorette there, and I'm gonna cut off this broken plastic part of the tow system at the back here. Now I can paint those mud cards white, and then red, and then the thin layer of white to make them look faded. Here it is with the masking removed. Now I'll mask over the wheel wells. Now I'm going to paint these two interiors and the motor there black. Here is the part from the majorette with the masking removed. I can move on and detail it. There is the lights detailed on the mud guards there and a bit of a black wash. And I'm just gonna use some metallic weathering powder on the motor parts here to highlight them. And I'm just going to finish the exhaust stack here with some rusty weathering powder. Next I mock assemble the majorette there and add some dust weathering powders. And the same, some dust weathering powders are applied to the matchbox. Here are the rear wheels of the tractors. I've masked off the hubs as best I can there. I start by painting them white. And then I paint them blue and red respectively. Now I can take off my masking. I then paint in a little bit of rust here and there on the rims. And then they were given a little bit of dark wash and finished with some more dust weathering powders. Here are the front wheels. 
These were given the same sort of treatment, although I just hand painted them rather than mask them off and airbrush them. The bases of the tractors were painted black and then highlighted with metallic weathering powder. and finished with some more dust. And so here are all the parts of our tractors ready to go back together. I've also put the truck back together. But before we take a look at the finished product, let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. Here we can see our Corgi Leyland land train looking a bit grubby and play worn. It's definitely not a disaster, but I think it could be made to look much more interesting. And here it is after our custom makeover. I've removed the sleeper off the back. The red paint job is gone and it's been replaced with orange and white. It's also seen a bit of age. That paint job's faded a bit. It's got a few patches of rust here and there. It's been detailed. It's had that stack detailed a bit better and it's had a nice interior put in it. For me, I think it's looking much cooler with that paint scheme and the weathering and I just think it looks much better without that horrible cabin on the back of it. And also those great big horns removed off the roof, I didn't think they looked very good either. And here is our Majorette tractor. This one is looking a bit of a mess. It's got a pretty chipped, worn out paint job there. It's in a pretty grubby and play-worn state. I'm also definitely not keen on that yellow and green paint scheme. And here it is after our makeover. It's been repainted red with a white roof. Again, it's been aged and weathered. The wheel rims have been painted and weathered and the motor there has had a bit of detailing. I think it's definitely looking a bit more realistic now and it's really great to get rid of that awful yellow and green color scheme. Great to hear any comments from people who played with this toy as children. And lastly, this is our little Matchbox Ford tractor. Again, looking pretty rough like the Majorette. Maybe not quite as bad the chipped paint job. And here it is, finished and customized. I've kept the blue paint job, but it's got a nice white roof on it now. Also added some white stripes on the bonnet there. It's been aged and weathered and detailed. You can see the motor standing out there. And I definitely think painting the rims makes those wheels look much better. So I'm really happy with how all of these have come out. I think they're looking much more interesting and satisfying for me personally to look at. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. So now I'm going to load the tractors up onto the trailer there. Perhaps they have to go off to the workshop 
or maybe they're getting sold so here's our before and after pictures so before i finish up i'll welcome all of my new subscribers and say a big thanks to everyone for the comments and likes on my videos an extra special thanks to my awesome patreon supporters who help to support the channel through patreon if you'd like to help as well you can check out my patreon page there'll be a link in the description below Thanks heaps for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please remember to like, share and subscribe.